What's up y'all? Welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning back into my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. The videos I've been posting like the past few weeks have just been like voiceovers. It hasn't been a video of me like sitting down talking. You know, we're still going to do makeup. It's going to be like a, I'll figure out what to call it. I just want to talk about some topics that's been on my mind, like pop culture and stuff like that. And then I'm going to do my face, my makeup. I'm going to do my makeup. If you like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's just go ahead and get into it. I did just to save time. So that way I'm not on here yapping. Did my brows off camera. I prepped my face. So I did primer and I primed my uh, eyelids. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be starting off with this. What is this? The Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette. I want to do something green. I'm going to start off with Stroke of Luck, which is this green color right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease. We're going to start off with that. So at the time that I'm recording this, it is uh, February 1st, which happy Black History Month. At the time of me recording this, Keith Lee is currently in Dallas. I'm from Dallas, born and raised. He's doing a food tour down here. And yesterday, I was like, I'm I'm proud of Dallas, you know? We haven't been, you know, no drama, no unnecessary drama. I just don't want it to be like a Atlanta 2.0. I was so happy. I was like, okay, Dallas, we're kind of doing our thing a little bit. And lo and behold, today, literally the next day, I think I jinxed it. There's a whole bunch of drama going down. So I can't remember the name of the restaurant or it's a food truck. I can't remember the name of it, but Keith Lee came because the owner's son made a video asking Keith Lee to come and check out his mom's food truck and Keith Lee popped up he gave the food a good review and so if you watch Keith Lee which I'm a I like Keith Lee like him and his family he's a family man he ain't about the drama he just want to eat do food reviews and move on about his business i respect that keith lee pops up gives the place good reviews if you watch keith lee on tiktok then anything to know about him is typically he'll go and talk to the owner of the restaurant or food truck and he'll leave like a big tip so he did just that talk to the owner and he told the owner to charge his car for four thousand dollars he was like two thousand dollars for you the owner of the truck a thousand dollars for the lady the other lady that's working in the truck and then a thousand dollars for the guy out in the parking lot that's giving haircuts and he also left some money i can't remember how much but he also left some money talking about uh or covering the people that were gonna come and order food long story short allegedly the lady that was working in the food truck came out and said that the owner just kept all four thousand of that of those of those dollars didn't give the lady her thousand didn't give the guy out in the parking lot his thousand which i don't know if i mentioned it but the lady working in the truck and the guy giving the haircut out in the parking lot they're siblings and so she made a video on tiktok she went in and rightfully so coming from the perspective of the older sibling and I have a younger brother too and it's like she was like you can keep my money you can keep my thousand dollars but get my brother his money I guess she like texts the lady the owner and was like you know give my brother his money in so many words and the owner was like I'm gonna give the thousand dollars to my son which he's the one that posted the video asking Keith Lee to come and check out his mom's food truck stay with me i know it's getting confusing but stay with me she was like i'm gonna give the money to my son the thousand dollars to my son and i'll let him dictate how much of that thousand dollars you get i tell you people are greedy now the whole the whole thing with keith lee is he's doing what he's doing he always says that he's just a vessel vessel of god it truly is a blessing like the keith lee effect is a thing and to be able to get that blessing when you got thousands of thousands of people across the country even probably across the world across the globe that want keith lee to come to his spot just to be able to get that exposure you want to be greedy allegedly you want to be greedy you would have got that two thousand dollar tip and on top of that the lady also said that the owner only let like three people get free food 
and then she started charging everybody else after that next i'm gonna go in with the shade that's right next to it yeah i'll start off with that i made moves to something else i'm gonna use this shade right here this is called express yourself just focus on deepening up this uh the crease is that doing anything for me no it's not we're gonna move on to the shade next to that no to this shade this is like a a dark olive this is called green with envy but it's just it's so sad because you really just block your blessings the whole point of you know you get blessed like that the whole point is to keep that blessing going and i am a firm believer in karma and your karma will come to bite you in the ice well you already got a two thousand dollar tip that's a blessing in itself on top of that you're getting the keith lee exposure which is going to bring an influx of customers to your to your joint so it's disheartening you know and apparently they're not even from texas apparently they're from milwaukee but you reap what you sow but yeah, that's about as far as everything is gone right now. There hasn't been any updates when I'm recording this. That's all I know. Oh, the son that the video he posted on TikTok asked it, asking Keith Lee to come and check out the food truck. He turned the comments off on that video. And I'm pretty sure you can guess why. People ain't having it. Just do right by people. And the lady that was helping in the food truck, she's not even an, empo an employee, like an official employee. She was there just to help. She's already not really getting paid why not just give her that thousand dollars like i said you reap what you sow and i hope that it was worth it i really do i don't think this the owner of the food truck i don't think this lady understands how powerful social media is and how powerful social media can be and while you may get an influx of customers right now who's to say that that won't slow down in the next few days all because you want to be greedy i'm going to use that brush that i use for my crease I don't have any extra product, I'm just using what's left on here and I'm just going to use that to kind of blend between these two colors. It sucks to see because you know it's so unnecessary and especially in today's age, I mean a thousand dollars can really help somebody because everybody is struggling, everybody. Your regular day to day people, these so called celebrities, everybody's struggling. I'm gonna switch palettes. I'm gonna go into the Masquerade Mini Palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to use this lovely emerald color right here. This is called Molly, like M-A-I-M-A-L-I, -I, like the place. Not like popping pills, not like, not like that. I'm gonna put that on my lid. I know the crease and stuff is looking a little eh, but you know. I may have to go on top of it with like a, 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 you know what? No, I know what I'm gonna do. But moving on to the next topic. I don't know if y'all have heard this. This is kind of like old news. Cause you know, news is constantly in, like it's a revolving door. These little girls just taking over Sephora and you know, their parents buying them retinol and all this other unnecessary stuff that they don't need at their age. It's sad to see because if you really think about it these little girls nowadays they don't really have that luxury of having like shows or any music or movies to kind of help them transition from like being a child to a preteen to a teen it seems like these kids are just transitioning from a child to a teenager or a child to an adult and it's like it's no in between it's not a good look it's not I think part of it is a lot of these, I'm going to have to clean up under my eye, uh, a part of it is these parents nowadays are so focused on just being their kids' friends and not their parents because there's no way that I'm buying my seven-year-old daughter Drunk Elephant, which is a skincare line. You want skincare? Let's go to Target. Let's get you some Neutrogena. There's no need for all that harsh stuff. Like your skin... It's still supple it's still giving placenta uterus like you're just you're damn near still a newborn and you want retinol it's the same thing with these little kids wanting these stanley cups which i'm gonna get on stanley cups in a minute it's just so unnecessary and nowadays i noticed that this newer generation that's coming up they don't have the opportunity to really just be kids because a lot of these kids are on the internet straight out the womb they're on the internet all day every day 
they don't have that balance of going outside and actually literally touching grass and playing i'm not saying that for all kids you still have parents out there that try to implement that but a lot of these kids are ipad kids because you're not a kid forever you're an adult longer than you are a kid so why not let your child enjoy being a child just like today i saw um lovely t she uploaded a video she uploaded a few days ago but she uploaded a video apparently it's somewhere in atlanta they're doing mommy and me pole dancing classes i'm sorry i don't care how old i am i'm a grown adult and i don't want to go take a pole dancing class with my mama i just don't that's just not our relationship but it's literally like the moms in their it was even some little boys in there and these kids are like i think the youngest one i saw was like three four years old between three years old and seven eight year olds in there taking pole dancing classes with their moms and the owner was getting a lot of backlash and she was gaslighting people like oh if you're looking at these kids in a actual way the kids some of those poses those kids don't need to be doing that I agree pole dancing is very much a workout the amount of upper body strength you have to have for that is just immeasurable but to sit up here and gaslight people like that like you know people gonna do that see this is why I don't do my foundation first and then my eyes huh I'll be back okay I'm back I fixed it next I'm gonna go into this legendary neutrals palette from doll face i forgot i had this they actually sent me this um and i just never i almost dropped this whole palette i'm very interested in like this shimmer i sw i swatched <laughs> i swatched it and it's very very pigmented so i'm gonna put that on top of this green this is in the shade royalty yeah i'll kind of Camera's not doing it justice, but I'm gonna put that on top of the, oh yeah. It's giving, oh yeah. I'm going to finish my eyes off camera and then I'll be back to finish our talk. I'm back. I attempted putting some lashes on. I've been doing my makeup for over 10 years and I still like I struggle with putting the lashes on. So hopefully they don't look too bad. They look bad. I reprimed where I had to wipe off my makeup. I'm going to do a little bit of spot correcting before I put on my foundation. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Uh, this actually has really good coverage. This is in the shade Camel. These kids nowadays they don't get what we that's way too much. I don't need that much. They don't get what we had back in the day. Back in the day as if I'm that old. But you know, preteen phase, what did I have? You had things like Castle Raven, Lizzie McGuire, hell, even, even Steven, just stuff like that to grow up and watch, like on Disney Channel and all that. And Disney Channel, like, it's not the same anymore. I haven't looked in a minute, but last time I checked, it's just nowhere near the same. Disney Channel had it set up to where you didn't even want to get up and leave because you were going to miss something even then during the commercial breaks you were going to miss something they had the show on or like a movie premiere let's just say like high school musical for instance they'll have that on during the commercial break or they'll premiere high school musical during the and then during the commercial break they'll have like vanessa hudgens or ashley tisdale they'll premiere like their music video during the uh commercial or like right before the movie premiere or something like that like on disney channel you had to be like you couldn't just be an actor you couldn't just be a singer you had to be multi-talented all those kids on there for the most part they acted they sang they danced nowadays you don't really see that i guess i feel like that's part of the reason why these kids feel like they just have to grow up because they don't really have any influences to really let them know that hey it's okay to be an awkward preteen it just sucks to see and i've been thinking about kind of talking more about like disney channel so if y'all would like to see a video about that let me know and maybe we can make this a thing like just doing makeup and talking my hyperpigmentation i really want to get that under control like it's not it hasn't gotten worse but it hasn't like really progressed how i want it to foundation i'm gonna go in with the nars soft matte in the color marquises moving on stanley cups our history book in the next like 10 years is gonna be so stupid you know during the whole pandemonium because you can't i don't think you can say that word on youtube either p 
people were fighting over toilet paper out of all things when in our reality you could just get in the shower and wash your butt but we're not gonna talk about that now it's these dang stanley cups these expensive ass cups i just can't justify spending i mean people are paying like a hundred dollars sometimes for this cup and even more because people get these cups like customized and all that i just i can't justify paying that much for a cup when i can go to walmart so literally i've done it went to walmart bought a cup still got the cup had it for a couple years it, it keeps ice in there so long it keeps stuff hot i just can't justify that especially with like how stuff is financially like i'm not bad off but you know even if i did have the money i just i can't justify that and you got people that's literally like waiting in line and they're running in the store and fighting over cups y you hear how ridiculous that sounds right because it is ridiculous if you want a stanley cup then fine that's your money you do what you do and then you got people like these kids are getting bullied and made fun of because they're not they don't have a stanley cup or they get like an off-brand stanley cup it's a cup they do the same thing like i said our history book in the next 10 years is just gonna be so stupid that's if they decide to you know do it accurately because the history books nowadays ain't even accurate but we're not gonna talk about that all right concealer i'm gonna use to turn up the base concealer from one size this is in the shade dark one in it gets tiring being on social media sometimes which you know makes sense but you know, if i'm being honest i've been kind of at a place to where i've been trying to like just focus on myself and not focus so much on what other people are doing for my gaming channel which if you didn't know i have a gaming channel i have two now because i just started a new one i'm not gonna get into why but of course i'm gonna play popular games or games that just came out but it's just a lot especially when you put in a lot of hard work and you're doing literally the same thing as somebody else and you know after a day your video gets 20 views and somebody that has the same size channel as you just skyrockets and it's so like it's discouraging and i've been posting on social media for 10 years off and on anything to know if you're gonna like if you're debating on whether or not to like post on social media start your own channel just know this is not for the weak of heart it's not gonna happen overnight there are those instances to where it does happen overnight but a lot of the time you really have to put in that dedication and really ask yourself is this what you want and are you willing to work for it and i'm still you know i'm just now getting to a point to where i'm getting a little better with my consistency like i've been really consistent on this channel since december of last year and i'm trying to keep that going and i'm really proud of myself that i've done it this far it's hard it's definitely hard uh, i'm gonna set my under eyes with some pressed powder first i'm gonna use the Super Stay Press Powder from Maybelline. Press powder and then we're gonna use a loose powder. All right, I'm gonna use the one size translucent powder. I've been stumbling over my words a lot more lately. I don't know if that's like an age thing or what. I'm gonna use this bronzer from Morphe. This is in the shade Romance. But typically I like to use a bronzer versus a contour just cause I like to like bring that warmth back into my face. I'm really just trying to like, I told myself that 2024, I'm really gonna like get it together and really give myself the chance. And I see that 2016 makeup is making a comeback. I'm pretty sure I was posting makeup tutorials on the channel back in 2016. So just for the nostalgia, I might have to just, you know, you feel me? I'm looking real kind of Casper-ish a little bit, but it's okay. I'm gonna go in with this blush from Makeup Geek. This specific blush is having me in a chokehold. This is in the shade Desire. You know, y'all see how I'm bringing that color back into my face? You just gotta be careful because I get carried away and this stuff is really pigmented and it'll look like I got punched in the face if I'm not too careful. I'm not gonna add any more onto the brush. I'm just gonna use what's left. Put that on my nose. I love a good blush on the nose moment. Spray a beauty blender with this matte finish from NYX. I see that's kind of like a harsh line between my foundation and my concealer. Ooh. Between my foundation and my concealer and I'm just going to kind of blend those. Along with blending that into my, uh, my blush. Because I'm looking down like this and I'm like I can see harsh lines. So let's not do that. I'm going to set my face with the one size beauty 
This is the On Until Dawn setting spray. Great setting spray, I just hate the scent. Let's put on some highlight. I'm gonna go to the old trusty Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Moscow Mule in Ginger Binge. And I like both of these shades, so I'm just dipping into both. Oh yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm gonna bring it down a little further than I usually do. I'm gonna hit that temple up here, that temple. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna put that on the bridge of my nose. Keep his bow. Make that lip, that upper lip kind of pop a little bit. Speaking of pop, I've been seeing like a bunch of like the music girlies been coming out with like makeup brands lately. Like, what's her name? Halsey? Apparently she got a makeup line and people like it. You know, Selena Gomez has her brand. Still haven't tried that. I'm just going to use this butter gloss from NYX. This is in the shade Ginger Snap. Okay, I'm going to do my hair and all that and I'll be back for the final look. And I'm back with the final finished product. I kind of fixed my lashes a little bit. I still feel a little bit of glue on this side. I just put some regular mascara on. Did my hair, slicked my hair. If you want to know more about this, I did a video on this. A couple videos back, I think it's called my soft girl era. I love this look. Oh, off camera, I did spray my face with that NYX matte setting spray that I talked about earlier. I went on top of that just for some extra you know, security. Did my hair, slick my edges, and this is the final product, the final result. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these type of videos, and if you do, what should I talk about in the next one? Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video.